It's mid-September. I'm in elk camp with my good buddy Joe Rogan, and I've heard nothing but awesome things about the giant bulls of Utah. To say that I'm pumped is an understatement. First evening, I barely get unpacked. My guide's like, hey man, let's roll. We're gonna go hit a water hole and just see what we see for the first few hours. What could be better than a bull of this caliber coming in, putting on a show like this, and the first shot opportunity I've got is at 60 plus yards. I just wasn't comfortable with it. So I had to let him walk. This is fun. This is what it's all about. If you wanna know why I'm addicted to elk hunting, it's moments just like this. Oh, wait a minute. <whistles> Bulls are answering, going crazy everywhere. This one sounds like a good one. On camera, everything looked perfect. This bull looked close, but I'm here to tell you, he was 60 plus yards, had a crosswind, I drew back. I just wasn't comfortable with that shot. This bull, screamed at every bull in the canyon, slung mud, stunk, you name it. This guy was the boss.
So we had a really good bull come right by me, but uh, it was one of those first night moments. It was literally the first bull I saw. Kind of regretting it, but in the same sense, I'm just so curious of what these other bugles are. So hopefully someone else put one down for the grill tonight and uh, I'll hold out and see what we can get done tomorrow. After several days, all I could think about was that first night on that water hole. I thought, man, if every day is going to be like this, we're going to be in for a treat, but it's still elk hunting. I kind of went into a little bit of a rut, but you know what? Right when things were looking sour, it all turned on. It's a beautiful morning, dead calm, which is good and bad. Good, you can hear bugles sometimes bad for trying to sneak in. The 18th of September is probably one of my favorite days for hunting elk. This has notoriously been a great day for me in the elk woods, so we're gonna dive off deep into one of these canyons and uh, try to intercept these bulls coming in while they're still talking. But uh, not much more you could ask for other than uh, being able to put some back straps on the grill tonight. something's awesome in there, but you don't know until it comes out of that package. Right now, that hillside with all those aspens and maples, that's just a big Christmas present. I'm waiting for this bull to pop out. I'll tell you, the worst place to be in the mountains is one step behind an elk. And that's where we were this whole morning. I felt like we were just a few minutes late. No matter what we did, we were always one step behind. But my God, the bulls that were out there, it was unreal. And all we could do is try our best to figure out a way to get in front of them. After all the elk bedded down for the day, we headed back to camp, regrouped, and I knew exactly where I wanted to be for that night. Right off the bat, we picked up where we left off. We were in the elk thick. All right, to give you a rundown, here's what's happening. We heard some elk, got down in the middle of them. Two bulls were about to clash. Two big herds were running into each other in the bottom of this meadow. We were right in the thick of it, and I knew it was gonna be helter-skelter. Things were gonna happen fast. It was crazy. I was just trying to keep my camera guy close, keep my wind right, stay out of eye contact and just work towards those bugles and where I thought a bull was trashing a tree.
What more could you ask for? Bull, raking a tree, eyes closed, get in, make my shot. Honestly, in the moment, I questioned penetration, loaded another arrow, ran in, made a follow-up shot at 50 yards, two right through the pump house. Man, that is elk hunting. I'm sure he's dead right there, he's done. That's a good bull, isn't it? Look at that sucker. Check out this. One, two. How big's that thing? <laughs> bigger than you. Way bigger, dude. Yeah! Literally slid this big boy down the hill behind me about 40 yards is where I got my shot. And uh, this worked out perfect. We actually had to Hold tight, there was a big harem of elk right in front of us with a smaller bull, one that I elected I didn't really want to take. He wasn't quite mature enough, and I really, really wanted an, an awesome mature bull, and this is a perfect representation of what mature bulls here in Utah are, and I couldn't be happier um, here in Traeger's home state. And what's awesome about this is I have some great friends in camp, and we're gonna have a little bit of a grill off I really want to share some of my elk with some of my friends in camp and I'm just super excited. Um, this is going to be a late night pack out but I've got some great ideas for some awesome recipes and I couldn't be happier. What a great bull, bow hunter's dream for sure and uh, once again perfect example of having all the right equipment and what it does for you for success. Super thankful for all my friends at Traeger too. Uh, I've got several of them here with me. My good buddy Chad Ward's here cooking. Tyler's here. Um, Denny's going to come by, I'm sure, now that he knows I got a bull down. And we're just going to grill out at camp, have some fun in the parking lot, and enjoy every bit of this. I can't wait to get back and show Rogan. And uh, hopefully he got one because now I'm going to be hunting with him if he didn't. So super excited. Uh, man. Just so stoked, what an awesome, awesome bull. We got my bull down, got him taken care of, made my first pack out, got back to camp, told Joe, big bull down, showed him some pics, and I said, man, by tomorrow afternoon, we're gonna be chowing down on back straps. We were there at first light, made a full pack out, and I was back to camp in time to Traeger for dinner. That's my elk straps, dude. What's up, everybody? Me and Rogan are here in Utah chasing elk, and I was fortunate enough to be successful. And this right here is what me and Joe are gonna be cooking today. This is a full elk tomahawk. I call them back racks. Once I tagged out, all I wanted to do was take those last few days and cook for my buddies. So I had a couple things I wanted to do. Obviously, you gotta share some back straps with your buddies, but also one of the most prized cuts that I think is out there is neck meat. So I wanted to do an overnight, super slow cook on a huge pot of neck meat, and I can tell you that was the big hit in camp. First cut of the tomahawk right there. We're gonna do a quick reverse here. Gonna give it some asparagus. This baby's gonna be ready to go. For years, I've seen people to go to Utah and I've seen some amazing hunts. I can tell you that this hunt lived up to all the hype. Man, what an experience. Good friends, good food, even better hunting. What an awesome way to end my September. <laughs>